What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is good. And I released a video yesterday talking about the carry over details which they added to the game. So yesterday they talked about this when the Monday update went up. They also talked about this carry over function, the search function for players, managers, but they've also released a little bit of information that I want to go through on the official website as well, right? So if you have missed the video, now is a good time to pause this video right here. Go back, watch the other video. It's about seven, eight minutes long um, or else open up a different tab and, you know, pause this here and go back to it and just get the gist of it. You can watch me on double speed if you want or even uh, 1.25 speed and get the gist of it, right? Um, but basically, it was just about which players are carried over, okay? But it kind of opened up a few more questions rather than answers, right? So I'm trying to go through everything in detail from my understanding of it and answer a lot of stuff that people have been asking me on the Discord, over on Twitter, and of course on YouTube in the comments as well. So I'll try to cover everything to the best of my ability. Um, and this is kind of the first time that they really talk about eFootball 2024, right? So we're actually going to go over to the main website, the actual Konami website itself, the eFootball official website. And we actually get a bit more information and data here um, to go over what we're really going to be talking about, right? This video is going to be very kind of uh, text heavy. We will put a couple of the cards in as well to keep everybody up to date. Um, but I will try and go over it in as much depth as possible, right? So we'll skip over the bits that we don't really need to talk about, right? But they do talk about the carry over details, how the carry over is going to go. We kind of know from playing eFootball 22 and the transition to 23, um, you know, us veterans that have played the game since, you know, the beta or whatever, will kind of know what happens. And even from the PES series, you had veteran players that would come over. Those became legendary players. Those became epic players in eFootball uh, when the series changed over. But basically it says here, look, in the sections below, we will explain how the following assets that you owned prior to the V3.0 update would be carried over. Coins, points, GP, base team, nominating contracts, your chance deals, your contract renewals, your players, managers, training programs, skill training programs, objectives, and various in-game settings. So this page discusses everything. I will leave a link in the description of the YouTube video below, but you won't really need to read it if you want to watch this video, because I'll cover everything, right? So they talk about eFootball coins and points. So basically they just say, look, everything will carry over um, pretty much there. You can read between the little bit of text there, but all football coins and points and GP will carry over, right? It's as simple as that. All GP will carry over to V3.0. What can happen to your base team? So if you have a team that is going to be in V3.0, it says that if it's available in 3.0, you will continue to use it. If it's not, you will have to select a new team. So if they are losing a license, let's just say that they lost the Barcelona license or they lost the Bayern Munich license or the AC Milan license, um, or not the AC Milan license or uh, any of those, but like say you have your base team on a squad, right? And you have the kits and they lose that or the team just gets removed from the game. Um, then that will obviously mean you need to pick a new game plan, right? So that could be a national team or whatever like that, okay? It's simple enough. All nominating contracts will carry over. Uh, chance deal will carry over. Contract renewals, trainer programs, skill programs, special strips, and standard player tickets, as well as objectives, will carry over as well. It says all ongoing and completed. Please note that as the team plays, the level will no longer be a gameplay element. The following objectives will be erased. So that's just literally small things, right? Settings, avatars and everything like that. Now, the big one and a bit of confusion is coming from the actual players, right? So we do have a secondary website here, kind of a secondary page where we're going to go through, okay? So I'm going to show you here. Um, it says that all players you have signed after the 13th of the 7th. So pretty much any player that you can sign now, if you go into your game, right? If we go into our game here, I'm going to just show you something. I'm over on my main profile, right? So for example, it's kind of very self-explanatory in a way, but as usual, it can it can be confusing because there's conflicting information. Um, but we will try and sort that out for you, right? So for example, right, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to a standard player list. I'm going to try and sign PK, right? We all know that PK has retired, okay? Um, and that he's not actually in the database. So he's actually not there at all, right? So you can see here that these are all the Spanish uh, center backs. So we can just continue to go down here. And as we get down towards the bottom, you're going to realize, right, well, he's definitely not going to be 
you know, like less than a 65, 60 whatever rated player, right? Now, this is where like the database comes in or whatever. If you want to take a look, I will leave a link to eFootballDB down in the description as well. We are over on eFootballDB and you will see that this was PK's standard card, the last version of him that was a 78 uh, rated center back, right? So he's actually not in the game. If you wanted to sign PK here, he's not in the game at all, right? So there's no 78 rated version of PK here, right? However, when I go back to my squad, right, I will actually have a version of PK in my squad. So if I go into my players, and as I said, this is my main account, right, I don't have to go down too far till I find my PK. Now, he doesn't have a contract here, but I can actually give him a contract if I want to. I can give him a 10-day contract, and as long as I give him that contract, he will have a contract to be able to play games, okay? Even though his standard card is no longer in the game, this featured version of him, or the Strong Defenders featured card, as you see there, the card type featured up on the left under the description picture, you will see there, right? So when we go back over to this, you will see here that this is the featured card of the Strong Defenders, right? Depending on which... Um, which way you look at him, this guy has got four levels, it doesn't really make a difference, this guy's got five levels, but there's also different versions of PK, so there's a club pack version of PK, and there's also a player of the week PK, right, so these versions of PK that you have, I also think I have that version of PK, um, unless I actually got rid of him, but we'll just double check for the purposes of this video, we will double check um, in real time, so I'm not going to edit this out just to show you guys exactly that I'm literally just searching in real time for a center back that is going to be uh, playing, so I have a second version of PK here, which is that version of him, the club version of him, which is here, okay so this kind of answers a lot of questions as to what players would be carried over in a very easy to look at example if we go over here to the actual website to search the player name and we actually search for pk okay and we're going to just search for peak we will see that we have two versions of pk here right we have the trending and we have the featured now again we go back to the game here and we have the type of card we've got featured pk here and we also have featured pk here now, there is, as you guys might have noticed, as I said earlier, there is another version of PK um, that is the standard card. That is not going to carry over. So if you have that card, that standard version PK, if you bought him when the game first launched before he was taken out of the actual database, you will still have um, him in your squad or until V3.0 and then he will be gone from your squad. He will not carry over because he's not in the database here that is going to be the V3.0 database going forward. The featured and the trending cards are the ones. So this kind of answers the question that I don't think that um, the premium pack uh, are going to carry over. The premium packs are going to carry over. Um, I think it's going to be these two cards, you know, the player of the week and also this one here. OK, the reason being for this is that player packs, I reckon you can see there that this player pack came out in June 22. OK, so I reckon that what they're going to do is re-release um, these player packs with new updated squads as they like to do. Or else they might be able to kind of like have a system in place where you'll be able to bring them across again. But I genuinely don't think that'll happen. I think that it'll just be whatever player is here is going to be carried over. Now, where this gets a little bit complicated, right, and where it's confusing people is if you search for somebody in a similar position to PK, right, such as Nakunku, okay? Nakunku is a player that was with in the database, and I covered him on my video yesterday. He was in the database, right? Uh, when the game first launched, because he was part of the French national squad. So his standard card was here, and then they released a World Cup squad uh, pack for him here, which was the national team pack for France, which was premium in November 22. So this Nukunku here, I have him, but I don't have the French pack, right? So I will show you very quickly again, just to keep things, you know, kind of ticking over and exactly where we're going to go with it, right? So for Nukunku there, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to put his nationality as German. And then we're going to find our French, sorry, and we're going to put him as an AMF, I think he's in as, and we're going to search here. Now, you will see that I have this Nakunku here, which is the standard version of Nakunku. You can see the card type there. Card type is standard, right? 31 levels. This is the exact version of him right here. This card, when I search for it over here on the actual Konami website, is not going to be carrying over. The only card that's going to be carrying over for Nakunku is going to be this French pack because it's a featured pack. So I think the best way of doing it is any player that you have in your head or in your squad, I should say, 
get it into your head that if it's a featured or a trending card, which was the player of the week, the player of the month, anything like that, um, they're going to be carried over if it's in this search function here. Now, as I said, it does get a little bit complicated when you start to look for players such as Vritz, right? Somebody mentioned this to me in the game, that Vritz is in a similar position, that his standard card isn't going to be there to carry over, but his featured and trending is going to be there, right? So this opens up the question as well, naturally as well. People are kind of interested in legend cards and big time cards and featured cards and all that, right? This is where it gets slightly a little bit more complicated, right? So bear with me a second. When we have Adriano here, the only version of Adriano in the game at the moment is this big time Adriano, which we do have in our squad, right? We have big time Adriano in our actual starting 11 here, um, right here, okay? So this is the big time Adriano here, okay? Um, this is what he goes up to or whatever, right? When we actually go over to the database, this is the only version of Adriano. There's no legend, there's no um, epic, it's literally just big time, right? So when we actually search here in the database for Adriano, we will see that we have him here as the epic. He's down as a car type epic, international, internationals, Milano, Inter Milan. And this is the only version of uh, Adriano that's going to carry over. However, right, when we actually search for Totti, Totti has got four versions here. So these two versions of the card are identical. These were the carryover legend cards. So this legend card became this legend card. You can see it's the exact same background except purple. Okay, but then you also have an epic and you also have a big time. But when we search for Totti over here, okay, we will see that we only have two versions of Totti. So two versions of Totti. So you put them together, combine. That's the legend Totti. These two cards are the one card. They're legend Totti, okay? These two cards here are separate. They're epic and they're big time. So which is going to carry over? Well, this epic one here is the Italian one, right? And this one here is the legendary, is the AS Roma one. So where does that leave the big time? This is also true when you look at it from Lampard's point of view. Lampard has had multiple cards in the database, okay? Lampard has had different cards. He's had these two are the exact same, but then you also have these two cards, which are the Chelsea, and then you have another Chelsea, which is going to be uh, a big time. Again, if we search for Frank Lampard here, right, we're going to have two versions of Lampard, and we're going to both be legendary. So there's no featured here. So it does open the question up, and I've had a lot of people ask me in the Discord, what's going to happen to my big time players, right? What's going to happen to my big time players, such as Rashford, right? Multiple versions of Rashford that we have here. You've got the big time Rashford that's 83 overall. You've got loads of different versions of Rashford that they have released over time, right? What's going to happen? Well, there seems to be a bit of conflicting information. And the only thing I can say, right, is that if the players are being, if the players are being, I suppose, described as big time cards, right? Like you can see here that we've got multiple, like we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got 12 versions of Rashford here that are various versions of Rashford. So we've got like Derby Day, We've got the legendary Manchester United limited one. We've got this one. We've got ones that might not have released yet. We've got the club pack. Um, you've got a load of different ones like that. Which one is actually going to be getting brought over? Well, it seems to be that the players are either going to be re-released, right? The cards are going to be either re-released, so they don't need to be carried over to V3.0, or else there is a mix-up between what they're describing as trending and epic. Right, so trending epic and featured is what they're describing as any of these. Now, as I said, there is another example here when we look at Van Nistelrooy, right? So if we take a look at Van Ruud Van Nistelrooy, you will see here that Ruud Van Nistelrooy has got three versions, right? And this one is an epic card, this one here. So it's it's kind of different, right, with the way that he's set up. If we search for Van Nistelrooy here, you will see that we've only got one version of Van Nistelrooy, which is the epic. So does the epic mean this one or does it mean this one? And why is the legend card left out? Because that's kind of how they've set it up, right? So yeah, if you want to take a look at things, you can check over on this. Um, Adriano is probably the biggest sign of it, is that what is the, what are they describing Adriano's card as? And they're actually, ta they're actually calling it an epic card here, right? This is the only card that's in the database for Adriano, the only card that they've ever released of Adriano. There isn't another card that is there. Some of the newer cards that they haven't released yet, yes, they are there in the database, such as Van Basten, Big Time, and those guys. But this is kind of the big kind of 
yeah, there is a big sign here that this could be it, right? Now, when we go back to the actual update version here of the website, it says all players who have signed after July 23 live update will be carried over to V3.0. The players' cards eligible for carryover pages search results are based on the data from the live update that will be applied during July 23, and it says to check the cards, right? It says if the players are eligible, other data such as card type, level appearance, position ability, skills, additional skills, playing style, and duration of, carry, a duration of contract will carry over as well. It says cards that are ineligible for carryover, such as what we've already set up here, such as Nakunku's standard card, because he'll be getting a new card with Chelsea, it says here that in this case, the player's team league will be updated. In addition, other data such as car type, level, appearance, position, or sorry, in this case, the player will be converted to the assets shown below. So if the card, if a standard card is eligible for carryover, this information applies. If it's ineligible for carryover, this information applies. And it says that the amount of GP would be spent to sign the player from the standard player list at the timing of acquisition. So this remains to be seen based on what it's saying there in black and white or white and blue um they're saying that if you have a standard player that doesn't carry over such as my instance with nakunku i will get the gp back right i will get the gp back and i will get my trainer points and my skill trainers whatever i put into that player now it also does get a little bit complicated because it's not just players it's not just players that are um available or not available in terms of retiring right because we've actually got three versions of ibrahimovic here including his standard car for AC Milan that's going to carry over. So it's like, well, why is Ibrahimovic's card carrying over? Um, you've also got Ronaldo's, you've also got Benzema carrying over, even though Benzema has left Real Madrid. You've got all of his standard card, his trending, his featured, his highlight, his epic, all of those. So it is something to keep an eye on. As I said, revert back to this, and it says there is a functionality where some standard cards receive a different card design once they reach the max level. This functionality will no longer be available. And it says that other player types, in this case, the player's data will carry over as is. Some players may have their names, strips, and emblem, emblems updated automatically. So it says the player's cards eligible for carryover page will become available at a later date. That is now available. And it's the same information for the managers, right? So there is a bit of an FAQ here. And it says, when will the player cards eligible be you know, available? That's available now. Will my game plans carry over? Yes. Will you unused everything carry over? Yes. Contract durations, GP, everything, yes. Um, you know, everything else is fine. But it's, yeah, that is probably the biggest question mark at the moment is to what version of the card they're talking about. Because a lot of people have talked about Patrick Vieira. When I did the video yesterday, I see a lot of people talking about Paddy V, right? Obviously, Paddy V is one of the best players in the game. There's two versions of him here in the database that they're going to be carrying over to V3.0. But there's... Um, there is multiple versions of this card in the actual databases for the game, right? So you can see here that there's multiple versions of Patrick Vieira. We've got the two legend versions that are the same. We've got the two epics that they talk about there. And then we also have this one. So some of these mightn't be released yet. Some of these might be continuing to release. Some of these might be added in a future update. It remains to be seen. But for now, I would say don't panic about things. Let's see how it goes. And uh, if you have any questions, get in, the comment, get in touch in the comments below. So... That is just to kind of cover everything. I saw a lot of people ask me about GP and about coins and about players and about everything like that. So hopefully that answers all the questions that you guys might have had between the two videos. It's nearly a 20 minute video. It's one of my longer ones. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you stayed till the end. And if not, you can watch it in a few other um, uh, cases. But yeah, pretty simple. Everything is going to log. Everything is going to... Uh, Everything is going to upgrade over and it's going to carry over that you see here. GP, coins, contracts, nominating contracts, everything. Once they don't have an expiry time on it, some of the nominating contracts do. Some of the inbox stuff does if you haven't claimed that, um, but everything else. The big question and the only real question at the moment is what big times are going to carry over? What are they actually defining big times are as in terms of are they epics, are they trending, are they featured, are they, you know, what are they calling them? Because there is kind of um, a mismatch of information there uh, from what I can see. But let me know. Maybe you guys can educate me on it as well. But until next time, lads, I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe and keep it locked here. We will have another video on this if you have any other questions. Until next time, peace.